Is this your store? Are you the manager? Like, like, are you going to kick me out because I don't have a message? Because obviously, one, you're not the manager, so you can't tell me what to do and what I cannot do. You're not the manager. You don't own, the, you don't own this body. Pony, pony swinging, pony swinging. What's up, y'all? Like I said, I haven't been vlogging for a minute, y'all. I want to go see my man. It was a great time. We had such an amazing um, weekend. Um, but yeah, so today I got a lot I gotta do. I gotta go grocery shopping because your girl ain't got no food in the house, and I have been eating out. I'm very upset at myself because I have been eating out. Like, for one, I spent $37, y'all, on a vegan burger and some tater tots and a lemonade. $37, cause it was from Uber Eats. And I just thought to myself, like, you need you really spent $37 on fucking Uber Eats? Like, what is wrong with you? My man gonna probably watch this and be like, you need, that's why your ass always broke, cause you, cause you got this. Oh, well, I'm not really broke, y'all. I just be saying that. If you're watching this, hey, babe. But, um, yeah, like, I really spent $37 on Uber Eats yesterday, y'all. I'm like, what's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Why would I do that? You know? But I was hungry and I began lazy. I don't feel like going to go get my food at all. I'm like, no, I'm just gonna order it. But whatever. The, that, that burger was hitting though, y'all. But that burger was pretty expensive. That burger, y'all, was like $16. Plus, they charge you $2 to add some veganish cheese. And they charge you more money for the tater tots and the drink. Lemonade was like $5. I'm like, $5 for a lemonade? Like, three is reasonable. Five is expensive. But it don't matter. I always look at money as something that will come back. So I wasn't too worried about it. It's okay. I was hungry. But yeah, so. Like I said, I'm on my way to the grocery store. I need to get eggs, y'all. I gotta get some, some, some seafood. I have literally have not cooked in so long. I've been eating out so much, y'all. And that's why my money has been going. Like, I, I need to get it together. But that's what I'm gonna do. Because I can't take this no more. And I actually miss my own cooking. Like, I can cook, y'all. I'll be throwing out in the kitchen. I'll be doing a little something. Sorry, you know. A little something. Sorry. You know. <clears throat> I make the best grits you'll ever have in your life. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm about to go to Sprouts. I love Sprouts. Um, I really love Sprouts because of their eggs and their meat, but their meat is pretty expensive. So I tend to get my meat from Kroger, but it's like some meat that I do like to get from there, such as like their um, sausages. Like they have like the Italian turkey sausages Italian, or Italian chicken sausages. So I go there and get those because I like to bake them. My mom used to do that, y'all. My mom used to get, um, she used to get the sausages, the Thai sausages, like the chicken or the turkey ones, and she would put them in the oven, and then she'll eat it sometimes with some mustard and the bread, y'all. Ooh, that thing be so good. It's crazy how much of, like, a lot of the things I used to think that my mom would do that would be nasty. I'm like, ew, who eats sausages with mustard and bread? And now as I'm older, I realize that I like doing that. I'll be like, what? <laughs> like, you need, what in the world? Like, you always used to be thinking this is so nasty. Now, it's one thing that my mom eats that I do not like, which is mushrooms. I just, I just can't get into mushrooms. It's not for me. It's never been for me. So, that right there, my mom loves mushrooms and, and pickles. She loves mushrooms and pickles. I hate mushrooms and especially pickles and tomatoes. She loves those, except for tomatoes. I don't think she likes tomatoes. No, no, no. Yes, she does. She does like tomatoes. Like I was saying, my mom, she loves mushrooms and she loves uh, pickles. And I think that it's this myth that goes around that says that, you know, whatever you eat the most of when you're pregnant, that's what your child would end up disliking when she gets older. And my mom said that she used to eat a lot of pickles um, when she was pregnant with me. 
And I think that's why I hate pickles. I mean, I know it's just like a little myth or conspiracy when it comes down to pregnancy, but I do think that that is true. Cause I hate pickles with a passion. Like my cousins, my sisters, or my mom, my aunts, my grandma, all don't eat pickles. I'm like, that is so nasty. Like, how can you eat these pickles? And they used to love getting the pickles in the, the kosher pickles and the packs that'd be like spicy, sweet and all that. They so nasty. Then they used to eat Kool-Aid pickles. Yeah. Ugh. That's ghetto. <laughs> but nah, seriously though, yeah. She used to eat pickles all the time. But I really do need to get a tripod, y'all, for my phone. Because I do most of my vlogging on my phone. I was going to buy a vlogging camera. But, you know, I just feel like your phone is already a huge powerhouse. So you don't need to go get a vlogging camera. Not unless, like, you're on your phone a lot. You know, if you're on your phone a lot, then I understand why you would get a vlogging camera. Or if you have the money to do so. Then I completely understand. But me, I just think that my phone is, you know, suffice, can suffice enough for good footage. Especially for my front camera. Like, I'm filming on my front camera. My front camera. Most of my vlogging is on my front camera. But, um... Yeah, I do think that a lot of people would love to make excuses about the fact that you need X, Y, and Z in order to be able to, you know, vlog, do YouTube when you don't. I don't think people understand the power of an iPhone. The power of an iPhone is heavy. Like, iPhone's quality is sometimes so good, I don't even know the difference between a camera, a DSLR camera, or the iPhone. I was like, dang, like, you film this on your phone? You just have to know how to make it work. For me, um, I was fortunate enough to have to have, um, to have my camera, my, my boyfriend help me with my camera. Um, so that's kind of what I do, especially because my phone at the time, what phone did I have? I think I had an older phone or something like that. So it wasn't really giving good quality. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But I, I just went and got me the Canon 80D. I do think it's a great budget camera because I use that a lot for my photos my especially for my makeup videos and when I film like a lot of the the stuff you know that y'all see such as my story time and stuff because I just love the quality of it I do want to upgrade my camera to a um, mark 3 but I'm gonna worry about that probably not to another year or two from now like I, I probably will not even worry about that because my camera the Canon 80D is such a great camera you don't really need it I really don't need the mark 3 anytime soon even if I were to upgrade my camera, I would still want to keep my camera that I have now, which is the Canon 80D. I love that camera so much and the lens that I, um, the lens that was bought with it as well. But yeah, so, you know, I, I do love vlogging with y'all. I feel like I'm getting better at it because at first it was, it was not that good. Sorry. Damn Atlanta. I do feel like, you know, my vlogging was not, I feel like it was kind of boring in my opinion. But now I'm like, okay, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm, I'm, I'm just basically talking to y'all as if I'm talking to someone physically or like my friend, you know? Because y'all are my friends. YouTube friends. <laughs> oh, God. But I think I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. And then I'm going to go and film with y'all once I get into uh, Sprouts. So, my boyfriend was telling me about these eggs. They're like blue eggs. I wish I, I unplugged the camera. They're blue eggs. They're literally blue, y'all. They're like literally all different colors. They're called heritage bread. I'll they y'all right here. And they, the yolk is way darker than your like regular. I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. healthier for you but these are $7.99 I don't know if I feel like paying $7.99 for some eggs you know but they are pretty good so I'm probably gonna just try it and I, I run through eggs a lot y'all I really do I run through a lot of eggs let me see this one this one is a larger this one is on other ones so these are the blue and brown amber yolks 
eggs. I think I'm just gonna get some of my regular eggs. Cause $7.99 is like, and I like a lot of eggs. Cause I be running through eggs, y'all. Running through eggs. Okay, so y'all, let me tell y'all real quickly. So I'm in the store. I told y'all like, you know, I wanted to take. I wasn't trying to put my mask on like that. So yeah, like I was saying, I was telling y'all, you know, I walked in the store because I was walking around the store and um, I didn't, uh, my mask wasn't on all the way. Like I was telling y'all because I want to ruin my makeup. And not only that, you know, it wasn't anyone around me. You know, like when I was walking around the store, I wasn't around anybody, you know, minding my business. Now, if I was like around like a, someone physically in front of them, then I would have the common courtesy to put my mask on, you know, because cause I don't want to transfer anything. So I'm literally, y'all, I'm at the register. Getting ready. I'm getting my stuff is ringing up already. And I forgot to get my water. So I'm walking to get my water. It's literally right here, right there behind the registers kind of like behind the register where the lines are but nobody was in line nobody was around me the lady was nowhere near around me and i go to go grab just my waters real quickly and come right back to the register while i'm right here in front of the exit and this lady behind me has a nerve to be like um do you have a mask i'm like yeah i have a mask she's like why you don't have your mask on i said i'm about to leave the store why would i put my mask on i'm about to leave the store it'll make no sense i'm gonna walk right back out no one's around me no one's around me at all She's like, well, you know, you need to have a mask on. I'm like, is this your store? Are you the manager? Like, you, like, are you going to kick me out because I don't have a mask on? Because obviously, one, you're not the manager, so you can't tell me what to do and what I cannot do. You're not the manager. You don't own, you don't own this body. So this lady really had the nerve to come out of her own mouth to sit there and tell me what I need to do with my, my body. I'm like, I'm about to walk out of the store. I don't care. I'm going to walk out the store. No one is like, y'all. Walking around that store, I wish y'all could see that there was literally no one around me. Literally. Nobody around me. If there was someone around me, I would have the common courtesy and respect to be like, okay, let me put my mask on. You know, especially if it's someone who's elderly, because I understand that, you know, elderly people are more deemed to being affected by, you know, COVID and everything. But lady, mind your business. Nobody was around me. No one. Nobody was around me. This is not your store. I wasn't near you. I was minding my own goddamn business. Mind your business. And y'all already know what she, who she was, what kind of color she was. Y'all already know. Well, if she, I'm not even gonna go in there. You know, mind your business. Mind your business. Thank you very much. Thank you. The F? Y'all. I'm still stuck on the fact that this lady like really had the nerve to tell me I needed to put my mask on. Like she didn't even ask me. She just told me I need to put my mask on. Like, first of all, like I said, you guys, I completely understand what she was saying as far as like why she probably was telling me to put it on, but she was not coming from a good place. And if it was such an issue, the staff would have told me to put my mask on. Now, I am not an evil person. I completely understand that there, like I said, there are some people whom their bodies cannot, you know, fight COVID. And she's like, oh, I don't want you to get it. She's like, well, I'm not the one getting infected. Girl, all of us got COVID at this point. All of us got COVID. All of us do. Okay. All of us got COVID. Okay. All right. But yeah, I don't like that. In my Atlanta voice. I don't like that shit, man. I don't like none of that. that. All that right there, that lady was on that cap shit, man. Okay? I don't like that. I don't like none of that. None of that. Yeah, back to my daily schedule program. Daily schedule mother program in this. Let me calm down, y'all. But no, seriously, y'all. I think that I handled that situation very politely. I told her nicely. But she wanted to keep going. And I just told her, I think you should just mind your business very simple you know no argument i didn't raise my voice i didn't curse at her none of that i think i did a great job at handling that type of ignorance okay because mind your business nobody else was bothering me but you just had to come out your way thank you huh 
humble humble thyself thank you very much um i have to go to kroger that is my next stop and then after that um fix my phone yeah i need to go to kroger and then after that where else i gotta go i know it's a kroger over here already let me ask you hey siri wait i can't do the girl did you really just try to call out on siri when you videotaping girl siri not gonna do that you need to get it together oh god y'all i'm a comedian y'all probably thinking like you need what the f happened like what was going on so y'all i was in my car and um like my lights some of my lights came on and it was like my brake bitch it was like my brake light my um wheel traction light uh what else just these lights that came on i'm like hold on like you know when you see one light it's like okay Oh, one light, oh, let's go get that checked out. But when you have multiple lights come on, I'm like, hold on. If it's more than two lights, really more than one, it's a problem. So I was freaking out, y'all. Like, I didn't even get to get go to Kroger because I was so, like, paranoid. Like, y'all, I really get paranoid with anything when it comes to a car. I'd be like, no. Now, unless, of course, it's like my oil light. I don't really be tripping too much because I already know, like, that's simple. But y'all, I hate anything when it comes to dealing with cars, I swear. But luckily I have a good mechanic and he's been working on, he worked on my old car and he is gonna come and see my car tomorrow. Um, so he can look at it to see what exactly what it is because y'all, the dealership be costing too much. Like the dealership, I called them, I went ahead and I set an appointment and I called them and I was like, hey, they were like, it's like 140 for diagnostics, but it does go towards the service. So, I'm going to let him look at it, see if he can fix it, because I prefer him. And I know a lot of people are like, you need to be careful when you're working with, like, you know, um, uh, mechanics and stuff. But I've known him for a long time. I trust him when it comes to my car. So, I'm going to stick with him, because if that is, that, that's a, he's a way better price, and he does a great job. At, he's good at what he does. So, I definitely say that. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my pizza. I need to show y'all my outfit. I'm not show y'all my outfit. Let me show y'all my outfit, hold on. So this is a kid's Adidas jumpsuit. Um, Y'all, I only wear kids Adidas outfits, like jumpsuits, I only wear the kids Adidas outfits because they're the only ones that actually fit me. And I don't, the, the women's ones are like way too big. Even the extra small, well, I think, I don't know if they started doing extra smalls yet, but the extra smalls would be too big on me. So the, the kids extra large or the kids extra large or XXL would work perfect just for me. And they be having way cuter stuff in kids sometimes anyways. And they, they a little bit cheaper. But yeah, so I'm going to go eat my pizza because your girl's hungry. And I'm going to stay my butt in their house for the rest of the day until I go take my car to go get checked out. Because that, y'all, I don't play with my car. I will never put my life at that type of risk, okay? Okay, I'm gonna get my food now. <laughs> 